Hey you guys, um, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching uh, my videos and subscribing for those that have subscribed so far. I appreciate the support. Um, so today, <clears throat> I want to address um, three things basically in this video. I'm going to try and keep it short, but I want to address three things. Um, one is already, most of you already know that I am studying in Ireland but maybe you might be wondering how is it that i am studying here you know who's funding me or how are we getting funded me and my other friends so i'll address that one first and then the second thing that i want to address basically is you know the scholarship that i'm under you know whoever is funding me what's the scholarship about um why was it you know kind of like started when and you know, what is it all about basically and then and why it's called the Kid asmal fellowship program and then um, three, I'll basically go through the application process of how to apply to the scholarship because applications are currently open and they're closing on the 31st of, uh, of August. So hence I'm making this video now, which is basically a month earlier so that you guys can have the information to decide, you know, to make an informed decision whether to apply to the scholarship or not. And I will also try to discuss some of the benefits of applying to the scholarship. So without uh, wasting much time, uh, let me get to it. So I am studying in Ireland in Limerick for my master's. Um, I will make another, I'm gonna keep this secret as to what I'm doing, but I will make another video where I discuss what program I am doing. But, uh, so I'm studying under the scholarship named Keda Asmal Fellowship Program. The scholarship was started in, in 2012 um, in the honor of the late Professor Keda Asmal. May he is so rich in peace. So Professor Keda Asmal, he he lectured in a Trinity College, which is in Dublin, uh, for almost for almost 27 years. He was lecturing there. He was specializing particularly in human rights, um, labor, and international law. So after that, um, during that time when he was still here, he was part of the people that formed the anti-apartheid movement here in Ireland um, during the apartheid time in South Africa, and then he was the chairperson of that movement for 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 a while, and then. In the early 90s, around 1990, it was when he moved back to South Africa and he was part of the people that were negotiating the freedom um, transition you know, from the apartheid government to the new um, to the new government when Mandela Mandela was getting released. So, and then after that, so when we won the, the elections, when the ANC took over in 1994, he became um, the Minister of for Water Affairs and Forestry and then um, after that, he served as the Minister of Education from 1999 to 2004 until he retired and then he unfortunately passed away in 2011. So that relationship or that relation basically between the Irish government and the South African government led to um, a program after you know, the professor passed away in 2012, which was called the Keda Asma Fellowship Program. And this scholarship basically, the way it works is the Irish government has a relationship with the South African government and every year they fund a certain number of African South African students to come and study in Ireland, um, across Ireland basically at all Irish universities for their master's degrees in all kind of programs including you know finance, agriculture, engineering, management, public health, nutrition, human rights, law, all qualifications of your choice basically as long as you can show why you want to apply for that course. And then so that's that's how it was formed because that's just a little bit of the history of the scholarship that's how it was formed. And then, so since then, it's been you know growing small, small, small. Every year, the number increases. The number of people that they take increases. They take people from South Africa and Zimbabwe, and it's Lesotho and South Africa is. Yes, and they wanted to expand to Botswana last I checked. So basically, um, if you're wondering what the scholarship covers, the scholarship basically covers everything that you can possibly think of. First, they cover your course fees. So when you apply to the universities, there will there will be a certain fee that you are charged, and the scholarship covers that. And then second, uh, they cover the required flights, you know, flights that will take you from uh, South Africa to Ireland, one-way ticket in, in, in September. And they cover that, uh, economy, economy class, and then they pay for accommodation, and they pay for monthly stipend allowance, certain amount of euros, can't tell you how much yet. And then obviously yeah, that's a monthly allowance, and then they pay for your health insurance while you are studying in Ireland. And then, you know, for traveling, if you if you're traveling to their events that they have, they reinvest you for that as well. And so, it's it's, it's a lot of things that that they cover. But really, all you do is come here and study, and they pay for everything. 
So that is basically that on the history of of, of, of the scholarship and what it covers. So currently the reason why I'm making this video is because currently the applications are open and they're closing in August um, the 31st. So that's why I wanted to make the video to show how um, how to apply for it. So the way that I got the funding or the way that I went about the scholarship was I just found it online. You know, I was just searching scholarships to study in the UK or, or in Ireland. Then I, I found uh, the scholarship online and I just applied for it so I had no one to guide me through it, no one was showing me how to apply or what to, you know, how to fill the form or what is required and what is the next step. I was basically just figuring it out as I went by. But I'm trying to make it easy for the next group that will come by giving you guys this prior information before you apply and so that you can be familiar with the process. So with that being said, um, the application is now open, the website, uh, the link to, to the application uh, application website is in the bio and then i will also be um, doing a video an instructional video right now that shows you how to apply um, step step by step so the applications are open but let, let me just summarize the process first so you will apply to the scholarship and they will take maybe for when i applied so let me go through my process when i applied i applied in october 2018 towards november because the scholarship was closing in december i think then and then I didn't get any response. So for December, January, February, I never got any response. And then I got the response, you know, from um, from them in February saying uh, I got shortlisted and I should, you know, send letters of recommendations, academic letters of recommendations, and I sent them. And then I was invited to an interview in Pretoria at the Embassy of Ireland. So from there, um, I did the interview. It was almost probably 13 minutes to an hour interview. Very intensive. But they are good. They ask good questions, you know. Um, and so after that, I waited like I think two weeks or three weeks. They told us after two weeks or three weeks whether we were successful or not. And then if you are successful, they tell you that please take note. This is that this does not mean the scholarship has been awarded. And so don't make any harsh decisions because it's just the first step. So the second step after you pass the interview is to you have to do the international English language testing system exam, which is IELTS. Um, exam in, 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 in Rosebank or depending where you are in Bloomfontein or Cape Town depending where you are but if you're in Johannesburg the test takes place in, in Rosebank you just have to uh, you have to book for yourself they will send you emails to say where to book and choose which days to book and everything and then they will pay so the Embassy of Ireland pays for that you don't have to worry about anything then you go and you sit for the exam the exam is a three hour exam basically and it's got four sections and it's the, the 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 listening, and then you have uh, what is the next one? I can't remember the second one. And then you have the writing, and then you have okay. I'll 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 I'll, I'll, I'll remember those. I'll see um, what they. Are. But you have to take the exam, which is like a three-hour long exam. It's not. It's easy. It's English, but it's just very. Oh yeah, the other one is the speaking, the interview. So you speak to a lady, and they want to see how fluent your English is or how you know you can have a conversation with a british person and you can hear them or an an Irish person something like that so after you get that and then you'll get the results maybe after two weeks again or three weeks and they will tell you whether you passed the exam or not and then once you pass the exam you they, they courier the certificate to your home address and then you have to courier that certificate back to the embassy of ireland so that they can have that that will be the second step then the third step you basically have to um now apply to the university of your choice so they will tell you at every step they will tell you so you don't, don't have to worry they will tell you okay you've passed now the other step is follow this link or talk to this person and they will help you apply to the university of your choice and then you do that you apply and then you wait for uh, for the acceptance letter from the university you know if you if you meet the requirements so once you you, you get accepted into the course that you've applied for at, at an Irish university then uh, they will tell you okay now your scholarship, you've been awarded the scholarship because your scholarship basically it depends on you getting accepted into the university. If you're not accepted, the university, you lose the scholarship. So you have to make sure you get accepted into the university, and then they will offer you the scholarship. So that will be around, like I said, this started this. So the interview was in February, uh, the exams was in March and April, and then the application to the university was in May, and then I got confirmation from the university in June. And then the scholarship was already in July. So it's, it's a very long process, six months at least, expected 
to be take uh, to take that long and then once you get once you, you you get accepted you will get a scholarship letter that says you've been awarded the Kira Asma scholarship program congratulations and then from there they will basically you'll be in touch with um, ICOS which is an organization in Ireland which is responsible for you know um, assisting the students or administering the scholarship in Ireland while you're here so they're called the Irish um, Council of International Students so they will be communicating with you how to apply you know and then they will book your plane ticket give you a date when you will depart because the academic year in Ireland starts in September so you could, most of us departed in in August end of August so that'll be that so they'll pick you the plane ticket they will tell you what to bring they will you know uh, you'll, you'll have a send away a send away um, send away party kind of or send away session where they give you letters official letters that you will need when you get to the university and they give you a few euros so that you can use when you get to when you get when you get to Ireland so you can use for click for public transport so everything will be will be sorted but that is the process in in, in short so what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to go through uh, the, the requirements so if you check on the website all of this is, is, is on the website um, the only people that are eligible must be South African citizens must have a minimum of two years relevant work experience uh, which, in, which can be either volunteering or an internship you, uh, and then you must be willing to do like a master's full time on any of the uh, of the list the, that, are, that are basically uh, documented there's a document that shows which courses are there that you can apply for and which universities and that's where you also find the link and then uh, you must you know be able to take the fellowship in the next 2021 2022 academic year and then you must not have applied for the Kada asma fellowship <coughs> program before and the one most important thing is you must those that already have the masters do not qualify so if you already hold the masters you do not qualify and then i've seen this year they say you know you must have a minimum point grade of 75 percent first class or second class honors grade so that I don't, I don't think it was there for us but i would say to give it to give it to like just check your for your for your undergrad or for your honors degree what what are like what is your total average just calculate that and see even if it's 70 i would say apply you know or even if it's 60 i would say apply they will look based probably on merit and see you know if you, if you qualify they have the, the deciding say at the end of the day so just um try 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 your best and just apply and then so that's that so now i'll just go onto the website and i'll show you step by step how to apply and what to fit in each form and what kind of references are required in each in each section so i'll, I'll, I'll go through the instructional video now that i made that shows you everything from the website where to click where to apply how to register and then um, follow all of the steps there that are there so um, let me go through the instructions